Hello and welcome to a lockdown update with me. Uh, I am in the kitchen. I should have had surgery earlier this week. I am still walking around. I have a moon boot. It is a pain. Ah, so much information. So, on the 5th, I was meant to have surgery on my ankle. Uh, basically, they drill a hole, they run something through it, it's anchored uh, there and there, and there's this thing that goes through and then you can walk better which means six or so weeks in a cast and then into like a, a soft cast or a moon boot after that so we're looking at about 10, 12, 14 more weeks but, but it gets better so already to have surgery and they've prepped my leg and I've shaved all the hair and I'm not going to show you because it looks terrible and then it turns out that I had to be tested for COVID-19 uh, due to the nature of the current climate, everyone's on edge and concerned and based on some of the reactions that I got, I would say a lot of people are scared as well. So I had to leave, lose my place in line for surgery that I need to go get tested for COVID-19. So that was Tuesday. Uh, I got tested and I have told every... So leading up to surgery, there's been a lot of like phone calls because you can't do face-to-face -face consults and everyone who I've spoken to I've said the only way I've got COVID-19 is if it's airborne in which case we're all screwed that's not been a good enough reason which is fine because I mean I'm not a medical professional I, I'm just me so anyway um, going back to the topic at hand getting tested for it on the Tuesday I got to the testing place and they're like you don't look like you have symptoms and it's like well they want me to be tested uh, I coughed last week and the week before I'm pretty sure I only coughed because I'm cold and then I told them again the only way I've got COVID-19 is if it's airborne or if it's a new strain that is highly infectious and I'm patient zero Oh, one day my humour is going to get me in trouble. Uh, the, the other thing that I've been throwing out there is that uh, it's either... Obviously I don't have it because the test came back negative. Which, because of the huge inconvenience, is actually quite sad. Because now I have to wait four weeks or so to get back on for surgery. So I've got four more weeks of this. And I'm going to adjust my glasses. So... <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's a strange time to be here. Uh, surgery that I need to be able to walk better is going to take longer. Now, yeah, it was inconvenient and a pain, but I know there's a lot of people out there that are far worse off than I am, so uh, my nurse who was looking after me at the time, she apologised so profusely, and I said, it's okay, I do understand, I get that people are scared, and she's like, it's just the bureaucracy gone mad and I totally agree I understand that people are scared but yeah anyway so I haven't had surgery and I'm still waiting so we're going to have to wait and wait and wait uh, so the ankle is still sore uh, I I'm just making do you know that's all I can do so my lockdown has it's been waiting for things to go back to a new normal and it's been waiting for surgery which if it happened when it was meant to I would be able to come out of my recovery hopefully into the new world that we are developing I'm going to adjust my glasses again I am so looking forward to getting that fixed so yeah that's that's what's going on uh, it was a little embarrassing like you're there you're ready to go and it's like hey you've got to be tested for COVID-19 it's like but I'm not showing symptoms you coughed last week so yeah I do have a little bit of a cough and I will admit that and I'm telling everyone because I was cold <laughs> um, we had a couple of days last week and it was like seven eight degrees and I know that's not too cold but when you're used to like 20 something it is kind of cold and yeah I was coughing because I was cold but it wasn't I don't know I'd, it wasn't public and it wasn't for ages and it was like oh, I'm a bit chilly cough cough 
Oh, biscuit warm. You know, uh, the, I, I do, I get people are scared and I'm sorry. It's all going to work out. We're all going to be fine. A lot of us are anyway. I'm going to leave you with all of that. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. And yes, walking around doing this does hurt, but it's better than sitting still because coming up, I'm going to have a lot of sitting. So I will see you in the next one for another update. Um, not 100% sure about when we are going to level 2. Personally, I think we should wait a week. The simple fact that we don't have enough... We don't have enough data to make an informed decision because it's better to go do it once than do it four times. Can you... So everyone... Oh, sorry, this is going to be a bit, bit of a long one. A lot of people are, from a business point of view, complaining about the economy and not making money. And that... I do, I sympathise, I, I do feel bad. Uh, the tourism sector is also like, help, we need people. And yes you do, but you can't have dead tourists. If you can figure that one out, we've got another problem. So, yes there's these two groups that need customers, but you need paying living customers. So, having another week or so before you can get back to where you need to be to recoup, I'm going to adjust my glasses again, and make something again, it's a small price to pay because if you had to shut down and go, and we went back to level 4 again, that's going to be really, really bad for you because you've, you've done it once and it's not been fun and the government's helped and it's been great. And then we're slowly progressing to a new normal. But what if you had to do that again? You were not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. So... I really wish people would stop and think, hey, let's do it once, let's do it right, let's not do it four times. And another thing, like I have a lot of sympathy for people with mental health issues and I don't like calling it mental health issues because it's just one of those things. And yes, that is a concern that there's going to be mental health related issues and problems developing because of the lockdown. And that's really sad, and we should help those people. But what if those people have to go through this four times? That's going to really mess some people up. So, yeah, do it once, do it right. And I'm going to leave you with that thought. I'm going to see you in the next one.